Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today we are going to be sanitizing water uh, with activated charcoal. So there, we're gonna be doing it two different ways. One way in which you would more kind of do it at home, um, like a, for a bugging in sort of purification. And the other one is going to be more of kind of like out in the field. You could also do that one at home too. Either of these you can do in any situation. Okay, so first of all, this is really dirty water. I have created this dirty water so that we could kind of see if there are any differences and what kind of differences there are. Now, this is, um, you can use any type of pre-filter. I'm using a baby schmog right now, basically. So you, it's getting rid of all of the big sediment, see? And then the dirt is at the bottom. You know, we don't want that. So. Now that that is good, now we just have dirty water. So we want to see how this is going to clean it. All right, so this is activated carbon. Um, activated carbon is activated charcoal. They just call it activated carbon. You can find bags of it at um, uh, <laughs> like pet stores, Walmart, any like the pet section. Um, what you want to do is you want to soak it for like uh, about 15 minutes or so. Just uh, give it a good soak. Okay, so the very first one that we have here is just a real simple. We have a you know mason jar, a coffee filter, and then I'm actually going to put a filter here. And I'm going to put the activated carbon or the activated charcoal uh, right there. And then I'm going to put this on top. And then, so we have a couple filters here um, and we want it to kind of drip a little slower. Um, you know, we don't want it so fast, but it is gonna uh, drip a little fast. The slower that the water drips through the activated carbon, the better, but it's okay if it drips through kind of fast. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I've let it soak. I'm gonna put the activated carbon. I keep calling it activated carbon. It's activated charcoal, it's just called that into there um, it's got kind of the double filter going on so now i'm just going to put this on up here and i'm going to put the a rubber band so that it doesn't like fall in and then we're going to pour it so before i get started you may want to boil this first because activated charcoal won't get rid of everything and boiling won't either to be quite honest um if you were to just do like straight rain water collection into the activated carbon that would work okay if you wanted to do like you know you have a free flowing stream down your by your place but you just want to give it a good uh purification through some activated carbon that works as well um so we're gonna see kind of what this does just this process um you know boiling water wouldn't make it clear anyway um it you know it just kind of gets rid of some particles and sometimes even brown water is okay as long as it's been kind of purified in some way but this is you know needs to be fixed. so we're just gonna go kinda slow as you can see it's coming down You know, what I would do is I'd probably just run this through maybe one or two more times. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see if pouring it in again will filter, will make it a little clearer. As you can see, the water's kind of coming down off the sides too. That this could be improved. This process. So it is still dripping a little bit, dripping through. So as you can see here, there's still a lot of water that's still dripping through. That's good. Let it drip. Okay. Um, you uh, want it to drip like that. There might be a big chunk that comes through, but as you can see, it's still coming through. That's exactly what you want. All right, so it's definitely, you know what I mean, from start, okay, 
to finish. Definitely a lot clearer, okay? Let's go ahead and do the sand and rocks. So I have this receptacle here. This is a very standard receptacle. You're gonna see this through a mini DIYs, okay? What we have here is we have a bottle, we have one hole down here. This is a, um, a coffee filter. And then this is um, the, I forgot to mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned what this is. This is just cheesecloth that I've been using, okay? Uh, cheesecloth down there, you can stuff cotton balls, you know, kind of whatever, but cheesecloth is accessible. You can also do a bandana, your shirt, <laughs> okay? Anything like that. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going, what you could actually do if you don't want sand or rocks, you could just fill this entire thing with activated charcoal and then just pour the water in. And then you have a, a lot larger layer of activated car, uh, carbon that it's going through. So you can do that. Absolutely. And it'd probably make it a lot clearer, a lot faster. Okay. So you can just do this, right? With a whole bunch of activated carbon. But I'm going to go ahead and do the sand and rock method as well, because that one's a very popular method. All right, look at those beautiful layers. We have uh, our couple filters here, and then we have our activated charcoal, our sand, rocks, activated charcoal, sand, rocks. Beauty, okay? So we're gonna take that icky, icky water that we had before, and we're gonna pour that through and just see how it goes. Mosquitoes all in my face. So this is a slow process as it should be. It should be a slow drip process through here, but you know, it's dripping through. There you go. It's dripping through and it looks like nice clear water so far. So um, this method definitely works. And we have the sand and the rocks and the activated carbon, you know, all right here at home. So, you know, and this it just takes a bottle and a couple of little filters and you're good to go. And the activated charcoal was uh, about $8 and I got this much. Plus I still have a whole other bag of this size and it doesn't take a lot and you don't have to continually switch out the activated carbon. Um, like I can continue using this activated carbon for many, many uses. So this is obviously way clearer than um, the little bit of water from just the activated carbon. And like I said, with just the activated carbon, you could continue to pour the water through and it will get clearer and clearer. Um, now this um, has a little bit of sediment in it, as you can see. So I would just pour this over, um, you know, a bandana or um, a, a, a schmog or whatever, just to get rid of that big sediment there. But otherwise this is ready to drink. And I am still letting it uh, process down a little bit in another uh, container here, but it does take a while, you know, and you definitely want to um, make sure, I, I, you know, the layers could also be probably a little smaller, you know, half inch to an inch is probably best, <laughs> but I just kind of threw a bunch in there, <laughs> but it, it'll, it's still working just great. Anyway, I don't think either of these are difficult methods. You know, I think that you, you know, with if you're using just the activated charcoal, you may want to, oh my gosh, mosquitoes got my forehead like hardcore. There's mosquito spray everywhere except on my face. Anyway, <laughs> um, so with the just the activated charcoal, you may want to boil it first and then uh, put it through the activated charcoal. And you may want to put it through the activated charcoal a couple times, and that's okay. Um, you know, this is basically a homemade water filtration system. Um, and then, you know, of course, with, with this method, this is going to take longer, but, um, you know, you want to have a sufficient amount of water for it to be going through, and you may want to have a sufficient amount of time. This is why I always recommend having a tiered system of water purification. Like this, you know, the activated charcoal method could be like a backup to you. And, and before then you have, you know, boiling and, you know, a pump water filter or something or water purification tablets or something like that or bleach or, or whatever, you know, you have a tiered system of water purification. So you're not relying on just one system because you may need water quicker 
rather than later and boiling may not be sufficient enough um, and you know boiling doesn't uh, get rid of everything either so anyway I just wanted to show uh, these two methods of purifying um, water with activated charcoal so there are several little different uh, tweaks that you could make to these and that you can find online but these are just a couple of easy methods that I have found that work uh, very good so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.